Hey everyone, this is Nate from Get VoIP, and today we're talking about VoIP ATAs, what they are, how they work, and how to pick one. Let's get right to it. A VoIP ATA, or Analog Telephone Adapter, is a device that connects traditional analog telephones, fax machines, and even private branch exchange, or PBX, systems to a digital network. VoIP ATAs turn analog voice signals into digital data packets that travel over the web. The primary use of VoIP ATA is allowing businesses to retain usage of their existing analog equipment. A VoIP ATA seamlessly links older phones and fax systems with modern internet-based voice solutions. It is not to be confused with VoIP gateways, which service for far more devices at once and are meant for larger operations. There are a few steps to how VoIP ATAs work. Here's a quick rundown. Step 1. Receiving an analog signal. When a user speaks into their analog telephone, their voice becomes an electrical analog signal, which the VoIP ATA accepts. Step 2. Converting signals from analog to digital. A key component of any VoIP ATA is its analog to digital converter, or ADC, which handles the incoming analog signals. This ADC then samples and digitizes the audio signal, so it becomes a binary data stream. Step 3. Packing up the data for the network. All digital data then needs to be segmented into packets for distribution. Every packet has a part of the voice conversation with heading details ensuring proper network routing. Step 4. Compressing, encoding, and transmitting data. Audio codecs compress and encode incoming audio data to reduce bandwidth usage while ensuring high call quality. The ATA then sends the packets via a router where they are finally transmitted through the internet using a session initiation protocol, or SIP. And finally, step five, the conversion from digital to analog. The packets move towards the final destination, usually the recipient's VoIP phone or another ATA, and the whole process moves in reverse. The packets are reassembled in the correct order, then converted into an analog signal through a digital to analog converter, or DAC, for playback or recording purposes. Picking the right VoIP ATA means weighing your current phone system use cases and needs, deciding if you plan to scale up in the future, and provider and device compatibility. The following considerations can help you determine which best serves your business. First, compatibility with providers and existing devices. When choosing an ATA, it should support SIP or H323 protocols to meet the requirements of your VoIP provider. Not all ATAs come pre-configured or optimized for providers, so check if your device works with your provider to avoid frustration. Next, brand reputation. Research the available VoIP ATA models and check reviews for ease of use and reliability. Some established brands in the VoIP ATA space include Cisco, Grandstream, and Obihai. These companies are known for long-term support and frequent firmware updates. Next, security functionality. Businesses concerned about cybersecurity threats or privacy should look into ATAs that support or offer encryption protocols like SRTP or firewall options. And finally, port types and quantity. A single port ATA is suitable for organizations planning to connect just one analog device to VoIP. Larger setups will require multi-port ATAs that allow more than one device on. For operations that require PBX or traditional lines, ATAs with FXO ports are available. There are many benefits to using a VoIP ATA to empower and enhance existing call center operations. Businesses won't need to replace working and capable analog phones and PBX systems to switch to VoIP, yielding instant savings. VoIP ATAs usually are plug-and-play devices which do not require complex setup or installation. Transitioning to digital allows analog devices to utilize key VoIP features such as call forwarding, Automatic Call Distribution, or ACD, Interactive Voice Response, or IVR, Systems, and more. If you found this editorial informative, give it a like, smash the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell below to keep up with our journey to simplify the VoIP world. Till next time, this is Nate from GetVoIP.